Let Garmin assist getting you started with your BC50 wireless backup camera. In this video, we will be using the BC50 with night vision, but the process is similar with the standard BC50. Garmin strongly recommends having an experienced installer with the proper knowledge of electrical systems install the device. These instructions do not apply to a specific vehicle type and are meant as a guide when setting up this product in your vehicle. For questions specific to your vehicle, you should contact the vehicle manufacturer. You will need your BC50 wireless backup camera and transmitter, a compatible Garmin automotive device, solderless wire splice connectors, hex wrench, hex screws, a number two Phillips screwdriver, and depending on your mounting preference, either the camera license plate clip bracket or camera surface mounting bracket. An adhesive strip and self-tapping screws are included with the BC50 with night vision and can be used to mount the camera. Additionally, though not included, you may also need a drill with a 10 millimeter drill bit, heat shrink tubing, pliers, bolts, cable ties, and additional screws for mounting the transmitter. You can use a multimeter to test for a ground and 12 volt positive voltage. Garmin recommends testing the camera and the transmitter in the desired location prior to permanently mounting. Let's begin by temporarily installing the camera to test operation. Identify a preferred mounting location for the camera. The BC50 with night vision includes two brackets. You can use the camera license plate clip bracket to attach the device to a license plate or other similar surface. It may be necessary to remove the license plate for easier placement. The camera can also be secured to the vehicle using the camera surface mounting bracket and included screws or adhesive strip. Follow the guidance in the owner's manual for instructions. The standard BC50 only includes the camera license plate clip bracket and will not include self-tapping screws. In this video, we will be attaching the BC50 with night vision to a license plate. Next, determine the best place for the camera cable to enter the vehicle. Then, feed the camera cable through. Connect the camera and transmitter cables. The connector between the camera and the transmitter is not waterproof. If you make this connection in a location exposed to the elements, you must make sure that the connection is waterproof during the permanent installation. Now let's identify an area to place the transmitter. The location of the transmitter can affect the wireless range. The closer you install the transmitter to your Garmin automotive device, the better the signal will be. The signal transmits from the front and back surfaces. Place the transmitter in a way that faces your Garmin device. Dense metal, appliances, and solid objects placed between the transmitter and Garmin device will greatly reduce the signal. For larger vehicles, such as RVs and semi-trucks, placing the transmitter near or around an outer edge is preferred for best signal. The fuse holder located near the transmitter is not waterproof. Make sure you install the fuse holder in a location that is not exposed to the elements during the permanent installation. The wireless transmission range for the BC50 is 50 feet. For extended rigs and semi-trucks that need additional range, an optional 50-foot extension cable can be purchased to connect the transmitter to the camera. Once you have identified a location, temporarily secure the transmitter. Do not peel off the adhesive protector on the back of the transmitter, as it may need to be moved to a different location. Next, connect the transmitter to a switched power source, preferably a reverse lamp. Some vehicles do not provide constant minimum voltage to reverse lamps. An automotive relay may be required when connecting the camera and transmitter to a power source that does not provide constant voltage. Using a constant power source may also cause drain to your vehicle's battery. The included solderless wire splice connectors are one-time use. If you do not want to splice into the wiring of your vehicle for testing, you can temporarily connect the power cables to a 12 volt direct current battery. Now that the camera and transmitter are connected to power, let's test the wireless signal strength and camera view. Pair the BC50 wireless backup camera to your compatible Garmin automotive device. In this video, we will be pairing with a Garmin DriveCam 76. Refer to your owner's manual for specific instructions to pair your device. Your device may not support the BC50 wireless backup camera without the latest software. 
check out our Support Center article for assistance updating the software on your Garmin Automotive device. To begin pairing, start from the main screen and select Settings. Then select Wireless Camera. Next, select Add New Camera, followed by BC50. If the camera is connected to your reverse lights, put the vehicle in park to remove power from the camera. Then put the vehicle in reverse to power the camera and select Search. Read the warning and select OK. A signal strength of three to four signal bars is necessary for optimal performance. If the Garmin device cannot find the camera, does not show a strong signal, or if it does not display a video feed, check the connections or try moving the transmitter to another location. Minimize the amount of metal and distance between the transmitter and the Garmin automotive device. Retest until the video feed is established and the device shows a strong signal. Depending on where the camera is placed on your vehicle, the video on your device may appear upside down or mirrored by default. You can rotate the video horizontally or flip the video vertically using the on-screen icons. The guidance lines icon can be used to toggle the guidance lines off and on. If necessary, adjust or move the camera until it provides an optimal view for your vehicle. Select the check mark to finish. After you complete the pairing process with the camera for the first time, it connects automatically to the Garmin navigation device when power is applied. This completes the testing process. If using the surface mounting bracket, you can now permanently mount the camera. Reference the owner's manual for instructions. Next, let's secure the transmitter. Secure the transmitter to the installation location using hardware appropriate for the location, such as screws, bolts, or cable ties. The adhesive backing can also be used to help secure the transmitter. In this video, we will be securing the transmitter using the adhesive backing. Clean the area you want to place the transmitter. Then, peel off the adhesive protector. Place the transmitter in the predetermined installation location until it is secure. Connect the power cable from the transmitter to a 12 to 24 volts of direct current switched power source, preferably a reverse lamp, using the included solderless wire splice connector. If you do not use a solderless wire splice connector, solder and heat shrink the connecting wires. Return to your Garmin automotive device and test the functionality. When the device power is on, the camera will connect automatically since it has already been paired during the testing process. If the camera angle needs to be readjusted, slightly loosen the hex screws on the camera bracket and tilt the camera up or down. Retighten the screws once the desired angle has been achieved. Next, let's adjust the guidance lines. The guidance lines provide an approximate visual representation of the vehicle's path when in reverse. For best reference points, the guidance lines should be aligned to reflect the outside edges of the vehicle. You must ensure the guidance lines are properly aligned before using the device and after making any camera angle adjustments. To begin, position the vehicle with one side closely aligned to a curb, driveway, or parking stall lines. You may want to position the vehicle in the center of a parking stall and then pull forward into the next stall. This allows you to use the parking stall lines in the rear of the vehicle as reference points for alignment. The curb, driveway, or parking stall lines should be clearly visible on the device. From the camera view, select the menu icon. Then select adjust video. Drag the circles on the corners of the guidance lines until they match the position of the curb, driveway, or parking stall lines. The guidance lines should appear directly on top of your reference points. The red or orange section of the guidance lines should align with the rear of your vehicle. If necessary, reposition the vehicle with the other side closely aligned to a curb, driveway, or parking stall lines and repeat the alignment process. You should attempt to keep the guidance lines symmetrical 
even if your vehicle is not in perfect alignment with the curb, driveway, or parking stall lines. Select the check mark after alignment is complete. And that's it! Thanks for watching. For more help, please visit support.garmin.com.